I grew up Catholic by name, um, although I never had a particular parish or church that we attended regularly. And of course, with moving all these years, it's hard to have that one home base. I didn't look at Jesus as God. In fact, it wasn't even until I was in my 20s where I realized, oh my goodness, the Catholic Church thinks Jesus is a God. Wow, it, I was dumbfounded. Because this idea had never settled in me, it never made sense, first of all, and it never, never stuck on me, I, I was even dumbfounded that others found this to be true. One thing that I always point to, though, that I think really sums everything up and should point people in the right direction is the fact that when our Holy Prophet died, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was there to wash him and bury him? Imam Ali. Where were everybody else? Dispersed. Do you need anything else? Do you need any other information? Do you really? Because this says it all. One of the other things that I experienced um, was of course the decision to wear hijab. And after I converted in October of um, 94, it wasn't a while until I decided to wear hijab. But the decision I made was in my mind, I said to myself, I've decided to become a Muslim, and I take it seriously. Therefore, I'm not going to play cafeteria. We're, and by that I mean, you know, usually when you go into a cafeteria, you take your tray and you look at all the choices in front of you and you pick just a few, and you put them on your tray and you check out. And I said, I'm not going to do that with Islam. I'm going to do the whole thing as best I, I can. And therefore, I said, if I've accepted that this dean is the truth and I have accepted that what I have been taught is, is truthful and right and I both intellectually agree with it, emotionally agree with it, spiritually agree with it, then I, I will take on this responsibility of uh, wearing the hijab. So that's what I did and so in, actually it was in July of 96 that I put the hijab on 